So in this video, I just want to talk about our um, senior seminar course. Um, obviously, there's not very many of us. Um, there's only two of you in the class. So, um, you know, I set this up formally. And um, but just keep in mind, there's only two of you. So I'm generally speaking going to be pretty, um, um, you know, forgiving or permissive um, with whatever your individual circumstances are for um, for things in general. Okay, so with that said, um, this should be pretty straightforward. Um, you would go from La Lima, um, announcements, these would be where primarily you would see due dates announced, nothing more than that. Then under syllabus and intro, you're going to see this um, syllabus, obviously, and then I'm going to be posting this video that I'm recording right now as well as just a general introduction of myself. Uh, but in both of your cases, uh, both uh, you, Cody, and Leland, you, you both know me to varying degrees, but I'll still post it nonetheless. Um, instead, most of your attention for both of you should be spent on the, um, the research assignments. So let's go to the syllabus, and that's going to lead way to these research assignments. OK. So um, my office is now in E214, so I'm now in the second floor of the E building. Easiest way to get a hold of me is um, by email, uh, but you both also have my um, cell phone number. You should feel free to use that as well. Uh, this is a three credit course. This course is obviously required for you to graduate, and for both of you, this is your final semester. So, you know, don't don't screw it up okay um do what you're supposed to do here um office hours if you really need to get a hold of me again just send me an email or give me a call send me a text something like that then we have our course catalog description and how i would describe this course but for the most part your grade for this course is determined by um how you perform on the um, writing assignments um, and um, how you do on your final paper and the presentation of your final paper. I'm sorry, there's a typo right here. This is a four, not five. Okay. <laughs> Um, the four writing assignments together make up 50% of your grade. The final paper itself is 30% of your grade. And then your presentation to me on that last week of classes of that final paper is 20% of your grade, thus making 100%. There's our rubric right here. Okay, so let's talk about what these assignments are. First one is... Um, RPA standing for research project assignment um, number one is basically you telling me um, in about three pages what is going to be your project and provide me an introduction and I give you an overview of what I need to see um, in that introduction and project at this point if you don't do this properly and I don't think you have a very good research idea you know we'll just resubmit this and we'll go back to doing this again so don't you know go with what you you're interested in and basically start to play it out and if I think you're going in the wrong direction I'll tell you then once that's done you've got a very simple project which is just you know get familiar with the literature um, the, the scholarly literature. Um, start to do some searches for things that you think are going to be of interest and then arrange those individual references. It's not worth very much of your grade because it's pretty simple and you're just getting an outline again of how to, you're getting an overview of how to conduct research. Then you've got the literature review. Now, the literature review is a bit more extensive. In fact, for most students, this is the most difficult part of the course. <coughs> and what this consists of 
is you reading the literature that you found in RPA number two and basically not just giving me a summary of it. That's not what I want to see. Rather, I want to see how, you know, outline for me how these different research articles, you know, build upon one another, agree with one another, disagree with one another. How are they connected? Um, how does it tell a story about what your project is going to be? Then we've got research project um, assignment number four. Um, and in that case, um, you're then going to basically, we're not going to have enough time in this course for you to actually do the research, you know, design or paper. But you would talk about, you know, how would you, if you had the time, how would you collect the data, design the data, analyze the data? You know, how would you design a test of your hypothesis? And then based on comments you get back from me for all four of those research assignments, you then put those together and you do your final paper. And it's not just a combination of projects one through four, although you do do that to some extent, you also make it seem like a, a final paper where you're putting all those elements together and incorporating changes based on my comments. And then in the last week of class, we'll set up an individual Zoom session with each of you and you'll do a presentation of your project. And you could make like a PowerPoint or something and basically give me an overview of what you did. And we got our dates to keep in mind classroom policies, non-discrimination, code of conduct, academic honesty, etc. If we go back to La Lima, you'll see here, um, you know, I've got videos where I talk about um, each of these items. And then I have something from the Noel Center. It also describes it. Same with research assignment number two. Same with research assignment number three. I still need to make the video for number four, but then I've got it here for number five. Um, in full disclosure, um, these videos that are right here, I made these about a year ago. They're not too old. But just keep in mind, I didn't make them just for this semester. So if there's some bad dates in there or whatnot, it's just because I made it a bit of um, about a year ago. Okay, so hopefully it gives you a, a good start on what you need to do. Um, we don't have our first deadline here um, for about two weeks, so you should have enough time um, to get working on research assignment number one.